All right, let's get some lower body work going on. So today I'm really gonna focus on form because we're trying to build our hips to keep any pain out of our knees. Building that hip strength is gonna help your low back, it's gonna help your knees, it's gonna help everything, ankle stability, all that. So we're gonna start with a hinge. This is your basic movement. I want your rib cage pulled down towards the pelvic bone. Sit back with the hips, keep that engaged. So as soon as you sit back, you're not losing that and opening up that rib cage, right? You wanna pull back all in one. So my knees are softly bent, my hips are back. I want you to bring the body weight forward so you're using the whole foot, not just the heels, the whole foot engaged. And you should feel this length right in the back of the hamstrings. Rib cage is staying tucked. I want you to bring your arms as if you were going into a plank. And we're just gonna hold here to start. So this is a hinge hold or a vertical plank. Holding, holding, holding. Five more seconds. Feel the glutes really turning on. You can even think about almost screwing your heels in and your feet out. Keep holding. And now literally think about screwing those feet in. And as you pull those heels towards one another, your knees are gonna pull out and you're gonna squeeze the butt to the top. Rib cage stays down. So this motion right here, this rib cage, this pelvic bone are pulling towards one another. Sit back, keep them pulling towards one another. Hips are back, lean forward into the whole foot. Arms are in plank, exhale, squeeze up. Contract those glutes, rib cage down. Inhale back. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale back. Keep the foot in, the whole foot is engaged, not just the heels. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Rib cage is staying down. Inhale. Breathe out. Inhale back, hold here. Bring the feet together. Stabilizing on one side, you're gonna tap the other leg back. Bring it in. Tap the same leg back. Bring it in 10 times, there's three. So we're not shifting our body weight from one hip to the other. We're keeping it stable between the two. This is four, five, rib cage is still pulled down. Six, you should feel the length in that standing leg working to hold you upright. I think we have two more. Last one, let's keep burning out that leg. So the same side that you just tapped back with is going to tap out and in, tap out, tap in. There's three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure that standing knee is not caving in. If it is, just do tap backs, not out to the side and stand up. Beautiful, shake it out, bend one knee at a time. Okay, I'm gonna show you from the front this time. We're doing the same thing, but now we're gonna stabilize on the other side. So, rib cage down, hips back, arms in plank position. Bring the feet together, tap back. One, two, three. You're looking about three to four feet ahead of you. Four, five, six, Seven, using that whole foot, not just the heel. Eight, nine, my hips are stable. 10, I'm going out to the side now. 10, so my knee's not caving in. If it is, I'm just gonna go back to the tap backs. Four, five, rib cage down. Six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, good, come up, shake it out. Woo, you feel that? I feel that. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of cardio. We're gonna go side to side. Now, just start with this motion. We're gonna go 30 seconds here. Pushing off, using those hips to push off. If you want, you can add the arms, going into this ice skater motion. We have 15 more seconds. Beautiful, get this little skate and skate 
Keep going, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Skate to the side, go into a hinge. So butt back, rib cage down, squeeze up. Step to the side, hinge, 30 seconds. Step, hinge, squeeze, step, hinge, squeeze up to the top. You're getting full contraction at the top. So it's a step, hinge, all the way. Step, hinge, squeeze the glutes. We're really working this muscle right here. So underneath into the sides of the glutes. Three, two, one. From here, step to the side, do a high knee lift, both legs, hinge. Step to the side, high knees, hinge. These are really slow, controlled movements. So when we're lifting those legs, we're working abdominals, we're working the hip flexors, and we're working the quads, so front of the legs. Knee lift, knee lift, hinge. Step, knee lift, knee lift, hinge. We're gonna add on, step, knee lift, knee lift, hinge, up, hinge, squat, lift, step. So I'm gonna do that to the side. Knee lift, knee lift, hinge, up, hinge, squat. So I just drop a little bit lower. Step to the side, knee lift, knee lift, hinge, up, hinge first, squat, and up. Side, knee lift, knee lift, hinge, up, hinge, squat, lift, out to the side. Keep going. We have five seconds. Four, three, two, one. From here, get into that hinge position again. So this is what I call athletic stance. You're hinged back, rib cage is pulled down towards the pelvic bone, our butt is back, our knees are softly bent, our body weight is in the whole foot. Now we're gonna push off of the outside leg, landing on the inside leg. So as I push off, I'm using the outside of my leg to push, and as I pull in, I'm using my inner thigh to pull the legs together. I'm gonna go side to side using both legs. Everything's engaged right now. My stomach is working because my rib cage is pulled down. My butt is working because it's back. I'm getting my hamstrings working. Everything engaged. Side to side. Your hands can be by your side, wherever it feels comfortable, where you can maintain that integrity of the rib cage pulling down. And these don't have to be big steps. We're gonna go 25 more seconds. Those glutes should feel turned on, right? Like they're working. It's a small movement, but they are engaged. And stand up. Beautiful, shake it out. Okay, we're going back to those ice skaters. This time I'm gonna add a hop. If you don't wanna hop because you have knee issues, I'm just gonna have you do that hinge again. So you'll step, hinge, step, hinge. Otherwise, we're gonna hop to one side, squat jump, hop to the other side, jump up, okay? One minute, ready, set, go. Hop, jump, hop, Jump, if you're not hopping, step, hinge, step, hinge, okay? It's up to what you're comfortable with. If you are not comfortable hopping, don't hop. Maybe you can still do this little leap sideways and then you hinge. Leap, so you're getting the push off, hinge. You gotta listen to your body. Do what feels right for it. Ten seconds to go. Ten. 
and rest. Okay, on your back. We're going to lift up into a bridge, hold at the top here, 30 seconds. Squeezing into the whole foot, everything's engaged. Feel the length in the front of the body. So you want to think about pushing your knees away to get those hips up. Length in the front of the body, squeezing the back of the body. Okay, inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Keep going, 30 seconds. We're about to add on. Lift, lift the heels. Heels down, heels up, heels down. Your hips stay up the whole time. Squeeze, relax, squeeze up, relax. Feeling that glute engage. Knees are straightening forward. Get that length in the front of the body. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Take breaks if you need them and then join back in when you're ready. It's a lot. Three, two, one. Stabilizing on both feet, lift your right leg to tabletop. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, lift it back up. So I'm holding a single leg bridge on that left leg, and I'm just tapping that right heel down, then lifting. Tapping down, lifting. That whole left foot is pushing into the ground, not just the heels. Five seconds, then we'll switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Two, one, switch. Left knee up, tabletop, tap it down. Tap down, lift up. Come on, come on. Three, two, one, both feet down, lift those hips, hold at the top. Lift one inch, lower one inch, lift one inch, lower one inch. So we're not getting into back extension. So if you feel your lower back turning on, maybe drop those hips an inch, then lift an inch. Drop an inch, lift an inch. Small, small movement. We have 10 seconds left. We're just burning out those glutes. Three, two, one. Lift those hips, hold at the top. Take your knees out an inch, bring them back to center. Push them out an inch, back to center. Out, center, out, center. Keep going, 30 seconds. You feel your back, lower your hips just a little. And everyone lower the hips. Good. Pull the knees up to tabletop. Grab on behind the right leg. I want you to tuck your chin like you're trying to create a double chin. So pretend that your back rests, well, honestly, just using the ground behind you. You're trying to bring the base of your neck to the mat. So tuck, hold. You're gonna lengthen the left leg along the ground. If that's too much because your ab strength isn't there, you're just gonna rest the left foot on the ground. From here, keep that chin tucked. Exhale, lift the leg, inhale, bend. Exhale, lift, inhale, bend. If you are able to let that leg hover, it's just gonna be about an inch off the ground. Keep that chin tucked. But again, that gets into your low back at all, you're bending the knee. Last one. Bend the knee. Set it down on the ground. Bring the other side up. Grab on behind. You can either let this leg on the ground hover or keep the foot on the ground. Tuck your chin. Double chin. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe out, breathe in, 
So again, if you want to extend, great. If you feel your low back turning on, bend the knee, place it on the ground. This is just an active hamstring stretch, so you should feel the back of the leg opening up. Okay, bring your arms wide, feet mat width apart, so nice and wide. Drop the hips side to side. And you're just gonna keep taking those knees side to side, letting the low back stretch out. If you feel good, you can drop the knees to the side and hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Drop them to the other side, hold 20 to 30 seconds. And then go back to the side to side windshield wiper movements. And when you finish with that, you are done. If you'd like to do a second round of everything, great depending on how you were feeling. So if you were like, yep, that was a good workout, I'm done, be done. If you think, hey, I can use a little bit of a push, I'm not doing anything else today, I'm gonna do it, great, because yesterday we went a little bit easier, so today we can push it a little bit, and then we'll see how we feel tomorrow.